Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the 0.96 inch OLED displays for your electronics projects. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. Today I thought I'd go over these 0.96 inch OLED displays, organic LED displays for your electronics projects. These things were really good for one primary reason I really love. Notice the lack of pins on these compared to a Nokia 5110, which is my favorite display bar none. But these work with I squared C, so you only need two pins for Datacom to them. And this is what the back side of the board looks like. They're really, really easy to get going. Not much to it. Once you have the I squared C address, in this case, it's 0x3C that I use, and you're going to see that in the code posted below. You can get these examples and get your displays working. It should work really good for you guys. So I've just fired up the Adafruit library here, and let's go ahead and get it started. So using the Adafruit PowerBoost 500, we can just plug this in. We should fire up and get an Adafruit splash screen. Works really good. This is a, a free example you can get from Adafruit's Git repository. It'll all be linked below. And it just runs through a bunch of tests. Pretty standard test modes of all the different kind of graphics you can do. Really impressive little display. Really, really neat output. And because it's an OLED, it's not backlit. It's actually a light emitting diode display. So pretty cool. Uh, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. So let's go ahead and try a different sketch here. Plug this back in. And we should get, we still get the Adafruit splash screen because I left that in. What we should get, hopefully, is a little oscilloscope that I've set up. I'm pretty sure if I remember right, we're using analog zero. And there we go. If we touch analog zero, we can see the value change on the display. I just directly ported this from my Nokia 5110 LCD uh, scope. Uh, I think I did a previous video on that. But it seems to work really, really well. But it doesn't take up the entire screen. So let's try another example. So let's take this next example and get it plugged in. Let's see what we get. No splash screen this time. And what we get is a very fast response oscilloscope. Works really good. We're getting a measurement and all this code will be below. I didn't make this sketch, so I can't really vouch for all the functionality in it, but it really seems to work pretty cool. So if you wanted to make a little oscilloscope or use a, use these displays for any of the projects, they work really great with these nanos because you can run them on I squared C and you can daisy chain as many items as you want on I squared C up to a ridiculously high limit of components. But yeah, that works really good, guys. All the codes linked below. If this helped you, please consider a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Guys, good luck in all your projects.